Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk about the 7-7 portal and manifestation. Cause it's only right we talk about manifestation if we're talking about the 7-7 portal today. So what is the 7-7 portal? Today's July 7th, 2024. And if you were watching this today, you are in a special energy. Seven represents the number of miracles, of divine creation, of unexpected blessings, of really being in alignment. There's an extended version of what 77 means and the number seven individually in numerology, and I will link that in the description below for you. It's actually a website that I use for a lot of angel numbers or numerological numbers and synchronistic numbers, 777, 333, 444, et cetera. Even if you're seeing random ones like 128, 128, 128, things like that, right? Repeating numbers. And these numbers are a way that spirit, the universe communicates to us. So I will put the link in the description below for Joanne Sacred Scribes, the website I use for deeper meanings as far as synchronistic number, numbers go. So why are we talking about the 7-7 portal today? Today is an incredibly auspicious day for you to set intentions, to get clear on what you want and what you wanna create going forward, uh, really for the rest of this year, but especially this month for the month of July. When we align and we have these special days like 7-7, 8-8, 11-11, November 11, things like this, these are energetic gateway portals for us to use for our benefit, for ourselves and for the greater good. If they're portals of manifestation now, does this seem like crap? It might be, but if you're watching this, you already know that uh, that's not the truth. You probably already see angel numbers. And I'll, I'll offer it to you like this. You know, what is the significance of December 31st? What's the significance of December 25th? What's the significance of October 31st? What's the significance of 7 July 4th? So these are all days that have been really man-made, right? To celebrate a certain specific something, the independence of America, uh, the day of Christ or Christmas, Christ Moss Christmas, or the end of the year. So these days, just like today, 7-7, they all have meaning behind them. Now, before we go into some of that, what I'll say is the most important thing is your belief system. So if you believe that you know this is an opportunity, you believe it's an opportunity. If you believe that this is useless and it's just another, uh, what is today? Sunday afternoon, it's just another Sunday afternoon and that's all good. But truly, I doubt you believe that because if you're watching this, you are awakened, you're a chosen one, you are a generational curse breaker in your family, you're a light worker, so you already know about energy, about synchronicity, about alignment, and that's why you're watching this video. So today is a reminder to talk about a couple of things. One, this is an opportunity to really write down things you wanna manifest in the coming months, especially this month, but really the rest of the year. So get clear, my intentions are, or I am manifesting, or I am creating, dash, uh, a better work environment that looks like this, a uh, relationship and a partner that looks and feels like this, right? To get clear on the things you want to create, because as the law of attraction works, the more you focus on what you want and you get clear on what you want, and you live in that vibration on a day-to-day -day basis, you're moving forward, you're doing the things you need to do, you are manifesting, you are attracting this, you are creating this reality. So funny thing, that's something um, interesting that I'll say. So uh, part of my phone number is 777, uh, the first three digits, or not the my area code, but the first three digits. I chose that intentionally. I did, but when I was changing my phone number because I wanted to step into something new and cut ties with old connections and really only allow myself to be accessible to certain connections. Anyways, so I did choose it, but there was obviously all kinds of random numbers. The funny thing is about it, my brother's address that I've been staying at for the past couple of months, and then the new address that I am moving into and the apartment number that I'm moving into, they all add up to 777. So it's like, I have 777 in my phone number, which I intentionally chose, but I had no idea and I was watching some video the other day uh, that for whatever reason, for fun, I was like, I wonder what the current address I am staying at adds up to. It adds up to seven. The new apartment address adds up to seven and then the new building 
number I add up, or I added up all equals seven. So I'm moving in from where I'm at to where I'm going is seven, seven. So that was just something fun that I thought I'd share with you guys. We talk about synchronicities, about alignment, and then today here I am on the seven, seven portal. So again, it might seem like it's all coincidence or it's all BS, but it's not. When you refine your energy and you reach higher states of consciousness, you can feel and understand how all of these universal forces work together. Now, why is that important for you? It's to say that these are opportunities for you. They're like, uh, you remember, um, what's that game? Sonic the Hedgehog. It was like a really old school video game on so uh, Sega Genesis or even like any racing games. When you're racing and you're in this race, they have those like triple arrows, right? And you like hit those triple arrows and they're like little boosts that speed you up. These are what these energetic gateways are. These are energetic gateways for you to get clear on what you're manifesting. And when you work with these universal energies of the cosmos, of planet Earth, they're like little speed boosts for you to speed up your manifestations. It's given you've done the work and aren't resistant towards and your beliefs are in alignment with what you're creating, these are energetic gateways, little boosts that you can have. So write down what you want to create in your life the rest of the month, the rest of the year. Get crystal clear on it. I'm manifesting this job and I'm making this much and it feels like this and I go to work feeling like this and my coworkers are like this, the office building is like this and I have a parking space and blah, 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 blah and I'm doing work that I enjoy. Like, you know, get clear on the feelings and even don't be afraid to write down what it looks like you actually want, right? Like uh, uh, clarity is so important and powerful for any manifestation, but especially today. You could say that, you know, I'm manifesting a classic car that I've been looking for and it's a 1964, I don't know, Chevy pickup truck that I'm gonna remaster and I'm gonna get it for less than a thousand bucks and it's gonna need to do this work on it and it's already gonna have everything intact and the seats are gonna look like this. And like, the more crystal clear you get, the better. So, it's just some random thing. So let's talk about manifestation for a second. So manifestation, it is what I've, come to understand it's bringing the unseen into your reality so it's tangible it's physical we it what you want the life you want anything you're going to bring into your life it already exists because now is the only time it's everything in the past and everything in the future it all happens in the moment in the present so what we do for manifestation is align with the energies and the vision by getting clear on what we want doing the things we need to do because we still live in a 3D physical reality. So you have to take the physical action for the physical manifestation to come into, into your reality. But it already exists because we live in a multi-dimensional, infinite dimensional parallel universe reality, meaning the only thing that exists is now. The time is now. When you get clear on your intentions as it pertains to manifestations and attracting and making the unseen seen into your reality, what you're doing is you're shifting at every moment, every day, every week, every month into a parallel reality in a different dimension that already exists. When you are in true alignment energetically without any resistance, all of a sudden, that's when the manifestation appears. And you will get breadcrumbs from the universe that you're on the right track as far as your manifestations coming into your reality for a few things. One, talked about the synchronicity example, about the 777s in my life, and you may be seeing 333 or 222 or 1111 or 1212 or random numbers like 617, 617. I keep seeing 617, what does that mean? The universe is speaking to you. These are the breadcrumbs and confirmation that your reality or your manifestation and reality that you want is coming into play. You'll see chance encounters. You'll begin to experience, these are the synchronicities, right? Chance encounters. You'll see a random commercial. Uh, you'll get some ad uh, that comes up on your social media feed or someone will mention a book or you'll meet someone in Starbucks who has a connection that you wanted to uh, look up to help grow your business. I need a social media manager. And you sit down and you overhear these people having a conversation in a coffee shop about this person's a social media manager and uh, how they're gonna do strategize and she seems really cool or he seems really cool and you're like, hey, I overheard you, couldn't help, could I get your number, blah, blah. These are synchronicities. This is how you know you're manifesting the reality that you want. I used to think reality was, let me sit here and make a vision board and meditate in my room all day and everything's gonna happen. That's not what manifestation is. It's not some woo-woo concept. It's actually a very practical thing what manifestation is. It's simply bringing the unseen into the scene, into the reality that you are living in. You're shifting at every moment. And based on how you choose to act and what you think and how you behave and how you feel, that feeling energy is how you know. 
So Abraham Hicks talks about this. It's very simple to know if you're on track to attracting what you want into your life or if you're out of alignment. It's very simple. We all, every human being has this system. It's the emotional guidance system. If you feel good when you think about these things, then you are in alignment. It's that simple. If you are in a situation or around people or places or jobs or circumstances that do not feel good, you're out of alignment. This is not where you should be. This is not where you should work. These are not the people you should be around them. You don't feel good. Now there are, it goes deeper because we do need to learn lessons from some of those situations. And this is what she also talks about as far as contrast goes. We experience things we don't want to help clarify what we do want. So the more you just focus and get clear on what you want, and the more you focus on feeling good, it's pretty simple. You are in alignment <clears throat> with what you want and it is being attracted into your reality. Today, it's a little bit less practical. I'm talking about a little bit of personal development, but it's really about spiritual development, spirituality, ener energy, right? It's a little bit more esoteric. It's a little bit more woo-woo for some of the, than some of the things I've been talking about, but this is real and this is the truth. And what you hear me talk about in my other videos that may be more practical about mindset shifts and understanding, this is the underlying system of it all when you tap into a deeper reality and understanding of energetics, epigenetics, how things work, energy, manifestation, flow, being in divine alignment. So I'll be talking about some of these more things, some of more, uh, more, more of some of these things um, as I am on the cusp of <clears throat> moving into my new apartment in a couple days, yeah. So <clears throat> I'll share that as a personal example. Everything that has happened so far in these first six months of the year, guys, these are my manifestations. I'm gonna tell you physically <clears throat> what I wrote out and how it's played out so far. Obviously, I'm not gonna reveal the rest of my vision because that needs to be protected because it hasn't come to fruition yet. I had planned at the beginning of the year and I said I needed a change in my life. Being in San Diego, although I love it, no longer feels right and I know there's something greater for me out there and I need to make a change. My dad had called me after about a couple of weeks of thinking about that, and he never really calls me to be honest. He's just kind of a quiet guy, he's older, just wanted to um, talk, and he's like, hey, you ever thought about substitute teaching out there, you know, and trying to move some things around? And I was like, I have, and I'm open to it, but in San Diego, they still require you to be um, uh, vaccinated and stuff, and I am not vaccinated, and I, that's a whole other topic of conversation we can talk about. I could see right through the guise of what this was and about how everyone was being brainwashed to take this shot. Here we are four months or four years later and there's all these studies and stuff about how it's all BS, it never worked. People are, you know, they still got sick and all that stuff. It was really just an opportunity for the um, powers that be to brainwash the collective and eject heavy metals and block their pineal gland and things like that. I know I'm talking about some crazy stuff today, but we'll talk about more of this, but deep down you know what I'm saying resonates with you on a soul level because you are a truth seeker. You can see through all this BS too. Maybe you just haven't had people around you that have talked about this stuff, but here we are. So anyways, um, so I didn't substitute teach and I was like, man, it's funny. I know you're staying out with Steve. I, I felt like I needed to change. I've actually thought about moving into Las Vegas because my old fitness mentor moved out there. I was like, you know what? That feels right. I'm gonna trust my gut. I'm gonna do it. So what's the game plan? Why am I moving out here? What's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is to work for myself again but I didn't want to do it like how I used to do it, personal training, because I never wanted to own my own gym. When I started to do YouTube fitness and fitness online and stuff, I felt it felt very inauthentic. I'm sitting there just working out with my shirt off, all tan with my six pack, teaching exercises, and sure that's appealing, but it just felt very egotistical to me, and it was. No offense to anyone who does that. I have tons of friends that do that to this day who are, who are awesome people and having great success. It just didn't feel right for me, and that's the key, right, in alignment with me. So I was like, well, how am I gonna, what do I wanna do? And I was like, well, what's the lifestyle I wanna live, right? And this is getting clear in your vision. We've talked about this. So I worked backwards and said, I know what my vision was to be. I wanna have a business one in which I work for myself, um, but I'm not tied to like being there in person. I can work remotely and virtually, so I have freedom and flexibility to travel and do these other things, right? It's all part of my vision. So I was like, all right, well, let's work backwards. So the first couple of my steps to my vision are, let's move to Las Vegas. Let's get a great job at a really high end restaurant because I already have plenty of experience where I'll make a lot of money and um, have flexibility in my schedule and still time to create what I want on the side. That fell into place. And the story of that, I was applying for jobs for months and I'm extremely qualified to work in pretty much any of the nicest restaurants in the world, to be honest. Um, never thought it would be like a thing, but I waited 
bus and waited tables when I was like 19 in college at a fine dining restaurant. And then I worked at all these other really, really nice restaurants at this point. I mean like wine, spirits, food, right? Like I have that down and the experience. So I was like, okay. So I was applying for months, didn't get any bites. People weren't even like wanting to interview me. And then I decided to come out here for a job fair. And I was like, well, whatever, I need to just get out there and scope the landscape out. And I got a job at one of the best, um, fine dining steakhouses in Las Vegas. And of course, this is one of the food capitals of the country, if not the world, right? A lot of famous chefs work out here and it's known for really good food out here, right? Uh, it's being the land of indulgence and excess. So all of a sudden I walk into this job fair, I went around a few bites, but I was like, yeah, none of these are really clicking. And then boom, found the right place the same day I got hired. So that's alignment, that's manifestation. None of those places were, I'm, I was supposed to work out, so I didn't get any bites. And then I got into a position that's even better than I could have expected. And that's how it, you know, you're in alignment. So the next step was, all right, let me get an apartment. And then this one fell into place, everything I want and more. And I haven't even gotten in there yet. So anyways, oh, what's this about manifestation? Why am I talking about myself? This is about manifestation, about how powerful alignment is and that there is a grace period, but it's about getting clear on what you want. It's about staying in the energetic vibration and alignment by focusing on what feels good and following what feels good for you because that is your soul speaking to you, your emotional guidance system, guiding you to what you want doing the work and having trust and faith that it is going to work out. And then all of a sudden manifestation is the art of making the unseen seen. I was applying for months. I didn't get any, I didn't get any bites, even in any interviews, even in any responses. And then I got into one of the best restaurants that's better than all the ones I was applying at. And I make more money now than I would have probably at any of these other places. It fell into place. I went two and a half months of sitting here applying, like what is going on? And then boom, it happened. So you've got to trust and faith that it's going to work out. And when it's right, it'll fall into place at the right divine timing and it'll be alignment. And it'll be, when you're in alignment, it'll just appear. That's how it happened to me for the job, the restaurant. And I know I was literally writing down some stuff. I've never felt more aligned and relaxed and in the flow and faithful in the universe and what I'm creating than I have now. Everything that I'm doing right now, I know that it's falling into place. So why am I talking about myself as it pertains to you? Why is this important for you? You have, you are a, this is a reminder that you are a powerful co-creator of the universe based on what you think, what you believe, most importantly, what you feel and how you choose to act upon those beliefs and thoughts, the actions you take. This dictates whether you're moving closer to creating what you want or what you don't want. But if you trust yourself and go with the flow, trust the universe, things will fall into place for you. So today, 7-7 seven, seven Portal is a powerful day to get crystal clear on exactly what you want. Write it down, review it every day. I'm not kidding. It takes less than five minutes. Wake up in the morning, take a deep breath, maybe do a little meditation, clear the space, clear the energy, relax, and just read on what you want. And be like, damn, dude, what's it gonna be like when I do this, when I have this, when I'm living this life? This is what's gonna happen. And then listen to yourself your emotional guidance system about what feels good. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Take action on the opportunities when they feel right. This is the divine plan that you've laid out for yourself that's happening. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom, it's gonna fall into place. So set your intentions today. Get clear on what you want. It's a seven, seven portal, it's very powerful. But it can be any day. Honestly, I do this quite often. But the, again, these are these days like this, seven, seven, eight, eight, whatever, they're little, little speed ramps, little speed boosts, like I said in the video games that we have. This is what manifestation is, guys. It's not some woo-woo con uh, concept of like, I'm gonna sit in my bedroom and stare at my vision board and a million dollars is gonna fall into my lap tomorrow. It might, it might. You hear some crazy stuff about people manifesting some crazy things. It always happens in a, in a fun and weird and unexpected way. This is how the universe delivers. If it's familiar to you, you're just reliving the past and recreating what you've already recreated. You've got to be open to the new, the unexpected. This is how the miracles come into your life. If you're creating something new and different, then it's gonna probably happen in a new and different way because it's something you haven't created that you haven't experienced. Makes sense, right? If it's familiar, you're just recreating something that's familiar. You've already done this. So be open. Let go of the resistance to change. Let go of the fear of change, of unexpected blessings. This is how you get blessed. This is how things fall into alignment unexpectedly. This is how you have the chance commu uh, chance connection in the grocery store and meet the love of your life. This is how you land this dream job. This is how you find the exact person that you needed to fill this role in your company. This is how you, whatever you're manifesting, the unexpected blessings and miracles. So 
man, this stuff always goes on so much longer than I intended, but hopefully this is helpful today. We did talk a little bit more about some of the stuff that's not as practical about mindset shifts in your 3D reality, but this is the underlying basis and belief about everything that I teach that I talk about. You are a powerful co-creator in what you choose to believe, what you choose to think on a daily basis, even in an hourly or minute by minute, second to second basis, the thoughts you have, and you being in tune with your own energy, being in alignment and following the guidance of your heart, the things that make you excited and that make you feel, how they make you feel. This is you creating that reality that you want. This is you shifting into a parallel dimension, a better version of you that already exists that's living that life that you want. This is how it works. Hope this was helpful. So the quote I get for you today, I've already said it, manifestation is the art of making the unseen seen. And we've talked about what that means today. Get clear on what you want. Listen to how you feel. Pay attention to the synchronicities. This is the guidance to you creating the crystal clear vision that you want for your life. Hopefully that was helpful. Love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and share this if it resonated with you and you think about someone else that would also, uh, this would be a benefit too. Appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.